In this video, we will go over how to align W using a flat surface. So to begin with, we're going to start by creating a X, Y, and Z in W origin right here using this manual point. And then we will go ahead and find a focus point right at X, Y, and Z absolute zero. So we're going to right click move to X zero, Y zero, and make sure you have move absolute selected. Now that we're at zero, zero, we'll go ahead and place the focus point and create a system Z origin on this focus point. Now we're going to measure a line using the F scan tool, which we will then use to skew. So once we have this line created, we're going to go ahead and select System, Skew, and click on the line. Now we're going to find and uh, measure a second line, which we will then use to create an intersection point. So we will use this line up here. And now we're going to go ahead and click on Point, Intersect, and use line 4 and line 6 to create the intersection point. Now this intersection point we're going to use it to create a system origin which we will then rename PCS. Now we're going to move to the flat surface. So for good practices is it, it is better if we start off by measuring a focus point at a low magnification which is what we're doing right now then we're going to create a local system on this point at Z origin. And now we'll go ahead and change magnification. We're going to go to the highest optical magnification. And after adjusting our lighting, our lights, we will go ahead and place that focus point. Now we will do the same on the other side of this flat. We will start by measuring a focus point using a low magnification, creating a system Z origin, and then we will go ahead and measure another focus point at a higher magnification. Again, we're using the highest optical magnification to measure the higher magnification focus point. So now we will, we will rename these points to make it easier for us to find it in the in the features list. So that's point one and this is our point two. And in the schematic turning the tags on will allow us to find them easier in the schematic window and now we will create a line from point one and point two as you can see we will have to rotate our working plane to the x z working plane let's take a look to our pcs view and now if we create a line from point one to point two you will see that that's the direction that we're actually interested in Again, right now we are in the X, Z working plane, and we will then use the calculator to find the line direction actual. So when we hit calculate, you will see the degree, the degrees that we will need to rotate W in order to align to this flat. So before doing that, we will create a system offset and use the calculator result, so the, the angle the, of the direction of the line, as our W rotation. So now look at the DRO and you will see the angle, it's right there. And now we're going to go ahead and click on right click on the camera window, move to and enter 0 for W. So my W is now going to align to the flat surface. So if you look at the DRO, my W value is 0 and I am at this point I will be able to continue measuring the rest of the program knowing that I am aligned to this flat surface. 
Now we will recall the previous system, go to the PCS view, and now we can continue to write the rest of my program.